Today, I'm gonna try to write a song using only one chord. Hi, my name is not important. I've been thinking about this for a while. Is it possible to write a whole song using only one chord? Or let me rephrase that slightly because of course it's possible. There are plenty of examples out there, but the more pressing question on my mind is, could I write a song using only one chord? Also, I think it's safe to say I slightly underestimated the amount of fresh snow we got last night, but anyway, I did what any normal and self-respecting person would do these days. I asked ChatGDP for help. Hey, Mr. Chat. Wait, no, that's too casual. Good day, Mr. GDP, sir. How are you today? Do you mind telling me about some interesting and exciting ways to go about creating some movement throughout a whole piece using only one chord? Thank you very much for your time and for all that you do. We all appreciate you so, so much. Have a great day. Great answers, but what Mr. Chat didn't know was that I already had my own agenda. In fact, this whole segment has been nothing but a red herring. I knew full well that I was going to make a video on line cliches all along. But I had a sneaky suspicion that no one was going to click on a video about line cliches because if you're unfamiliar with them, you probably don't know that you need them. And if you know about them already, you probably don't need this video. So what is a line cliche and how can we use one to write our song? Let's start by exploring the first question and work our way forward from there. Like anything in music, I'm pretty sure there are formal rules and conventions for the definition of a line cliché, but just like any field, people will disagree about them. So I will leave the bickering to the professionals and just define it as an ascending or descending line within an otherwise static chord. So something like this would be a very basic example. <laughs> Actually, that could be our theme. It sounds pretty good, I think. Another way you can do it is you move your bass notes around while keeping your higher notes static. Something like this. Hmm. Maybe we can use that too. The reason why a line cliche can work so well is because it creates a feeling of movement, of motion, that's why it's perfect for this challenge, because it kind of feels like we're changing chords sometimes, even though we aren't. But it still feels like something is happening the whole time. Now, what else do we need to make this work? We have some ideas about melody and about how to create a sense of going somewhere. Mm, that's a bright sun. My next thought is that we need to make use of rhythm and dynamics. Which is funny because the first two suggestions I got from ChatGDP were to make use of rhythmic variation and dynamic changes. And I wrote this part of the script way before I thought of the ChatGDP bit, so... There you go. Great minds or something? Generic minds, maybe. The last thing I will focus on is to use different sounds and textures to keep things interesting and engaging. I think my intro will be something with sounds rather than something compositional, or maybe a single instrument, like a bass, doing something cool over a pedal note. That will then turn into our tonic chord, our only chord. Because that's another thing, how many parts do we really need to call it a song? I would say we need an intro, because I love those, we need a verse, we need a chorus of some kind. So I guess a minimum of at least three. A bridge would probably be pushing it, even though I love bridges too. Okay, let's recap. We need to make full use of dynamics and sounds. Our textures and our sonic landscape will be important to keep things interesting. We're going to rely on line cliches to create movement and we need to change up our beat and play around with rhythm. And that's it, in theory. Let's try it out in practice, shall we? And by the way, it's so cold, I gotta, gotta keep moving. Oh yeah, and the thing I played in the beginning was in D minor, so we'll have to uh, we'll have to make that our chord. So this is the D minor song. Enjoy, folks. 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 Sorry to have to interrupt like this, but I'm having a bit of a quarrel with myself. You see, the world keeps telling me I need to include some kind of call to action in my videos, which is marketing talk for asking you to do stuff and I don't want to have to do that but the internet 
insists that it works. You know who you are. Now, as a curious man of science and reason and lots of other things, I decided to test this theory by um, asking you right now to please subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. Thank you.